Hi everyone, it's Wally Nichols with the Asset Guidance Group Weekly Update for the week ending October the 22nd, 2021. Well, what a stellar second week of the earnings seasons. They just keep coming in with fantastic, phenomenal reports. This has extended the bull rally that started last week. And as of midday here, we're just uh, about two and a half hours left in the trading uh, week. Uh, as, I, as I record this, uh, we have all the major indexes up for the week. Uh, all the indications, uh, m m over two thirds uh, approaching uh, three, uh, over two thirds of the S&P 500 above the 50-day moving average, and uh, certainly above the 200-day uh, moving average. Uh, more than 60% above the 50-day moving average. Even higher numbers on the New York Stock Exchange. So very bullish sentiment, to far outweighs uh, as compared to with about two, three weeks ago. Uh, the bullish sentiment has, has really caused the bears to retreat into the background. Uh, on a weekly basis, we're looking at uh, not yet even uh, really approaching overbought uh, as they're just stepping away for today, stepping away from the line a little bit, taking a breather, uh, getting ramped up for yet next week's uh, uh, last, probably next to the last round of, of major earning reports as those come in, but it's been doing very well. And uh, the, the real thing that's been sticking out in the background is the 10 years. Okay, so this is showing a true strengthening in the economy and an and asset shift because 10 years almost touched 170 for this week, and that's the first time in, in a really, really long time, really long time. Uh, by the same token, inflation continues to be the discussion um, de jour. Uh, inflation numbers continue to go higher. Uh, it doesn't do us a lot of good to keep the ports open 24-7 if we don't have the logistical uh, chain set up to then get the goods away from the ports and into uh, the mainland, into the intersections of the country. So we've still got to get the trucks and all of those uh, uh, parts of the supply chain back in play, back going strong again. That seems to be where the weak links are inflation still spiking uh, in various parts of the uh, economy and in the global uh, economy. Uh, this is going to affect a number of different classes, but primarily what we're looking at now is that break-even uh, inflation on a 10-year basis. I like to, to peg on the 10-year because the 20 and 30-year, the longs are, are too long. They're still hanging around 2% okay, on a break-even, but the people who are investing money and determining whether or not inflation is long term. If we fo uh, focus on the 10 year, if that's telling us anything, then right now we are at uh, 270. Those are levels we have not seen since 2005. Okay, we got close to where we were in 2005 uh, in March, and then 274 was the highest, and that was back in April or May of 2004. So we're looking at 16, 17 years uh, of, of not seeing these highs uh, in inflation in terms of break-even level. And so that's where the markets are at right now. I like to focus on that because that's where the people with skin in the game is. And you know what they say you know, about uh, people who are, who are looking versus people who are betting. And so those were people who are skinning the game, and that's where that market is right now. So we're looking at 10-year long-term right now, bets at 2.7. So if we're building plans, we're looking at around a 3% inflation rate long-term. Certainly inflation that affects uh, retirees, that affects retirees is going to be a little bit higher than that because of the health care component. So that's where we are this week. It was the end to a really, we're coming up on the end anyway, to a really spectacular week bull market taking a little bit of breather here on a daily basis today just stepping back from the line a little bit but on a weekly basis very very strong looking uh, for continued good news next week and continue the rally and let's see if we can uh, close out October on a high mark most of the indexes with the big indexes close out six out of, out of ten times higher October than they did on the open uh, and then the small and mid caps generally uh, 10 out of 10 times uh, at least over the past four years since 2017. 
All right, on those notes, uh, if we can help you, don't hesitate to reach out and contact us. It's info at assetguidancegroup.com. Reach out to me directly, wnichols at assetguidancegroup.com, or go to our website and fill out any of the forms, assetguidancegroup.com. You knew that was coming, right? Okay, stay happy. Enjoy this beautiful, perfect weather for the fall, and I'll see you next time around.